everyone. We're going to be making a glass bead today with copper tube. We're using 620 enamel. And uh, what I'm holding now is 80 mesh, which is robin's egg. Uh, but the 620 is a larger pea-sized gravel um, type of grain. So I'm starting my torch. Um, we're going to be using uh, skinny copper tubing that you can buy online or at the hardware store. All I'm doing is rotating it on the mandrel to get it hot. And when it starts to glow orange, I'm going to dredge it through the 620 white enamel. So 620 refers to the mesh size. It means that all of the uh, grains will fit through a mesh with six holes in a linear inch, but none of it will go through a mesh that has 20 holes in a linear inch. So we're just heating this up right now and waiting for it to smooth out and um, become uh, our glass bead, essentially. If you don't wear glasses, you might want to consider wearing safety glasses because some of those little particles can pop off and you want to be safe. Okay, I'm back. That was the uh, seventh inning stretch for the cameraman, so he's all ready to go again. So I'm continuing to melt the enamel, and what we're looking for is a covered copper tubing bead. Okay, the copper tubing needs to get covered by the enamel. I'm using the workstation there to kind of smooth the enamel flat so I can see where, where I am with coverage. So continuing to heat. Dredge it into the white enamel again, the 620. Just heat it some more and I promise it's going to get a lot more exciting. We're going to start using some color in this bead. So we're just really melting this in and um, you know sometimes it gets to be so pretty and, and uh, but there are still raised areas. You could stop there as long as the particles are melted and fused enough to the background enamel, you could have little bumpy beads. I mean, that's gonna be fine. So we're making progress. All right, so now we're pushing the bead back. All I'm doing is kind of cleaning up that leading edge of the mandrel. And now we're going to be rolling it into some of the color. We're going to start picking up some of that kind of that confetti color of the 620 enamel. And really all that is is just a mixture of different colors. Um, so we're just melting that in and we're going to start picking up some more. There we go. So in that concoction there, we've got pumpkin, robin's egg, it uh, looks like we've got some royal blue, which might be nitric. So it's got a nice combination of colors. We're just going to continue to melt that in, and we're almost finished here. But I'm going to show you one last thing that we can do to the bead to kind of spice it up before we take it off. Okay, I'm changing hands now and uh, putting the uh, mandrel in my non-dominant hand, and I'm going to start with my right hand, my dominant hand, drawing through the... Uh, glass and that's going to create a marbled effect like mar marbled paper It's a pretty simple thing to do, but it adds a lot to the design of the bead Alrighty, so let's just melt in those uh, little grooves that were created Okay, here we go. Just push it off All right, I'm going to grab the other end with a pair of pliers so I can just drop the bead off of the clean end of the mandrel into heated vermiculite. Um, I'm going to turn the uh, vermiculite off and just allow it to cool naturally. So this is what we created. And it was pretty easy, you must admit. Well, thanks a lot for being with me here today. Bye-bye now.